Hello, dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus across all over the world. Greetings to you all in the mighty name of our dear Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Okay. Uh, today, this is uh, the Sunday service that I organized to teach the word of God and to increase the church across all over the world. We had our morning service and this is evening service in, uh, on, on Sunday evening here in India, but uh, to the, uh, some, some of the countries in the rest of the countries of, of Asia are in the morning right now. So I just um, wanted to send this message as a Sunday morning message to the rest of countries out of Asia and uh, evening Sunday service message uh, to the uh, Asian countries or our, <clears throat> our, so our neighbor Asian countries. Okay, okay. Uh, so my friends, like Australia, New Zealand, and they are in the, in, uh, over midnight time right now. God bless you all my friends and uh, may God uh, help uh, each and every people in the in, in the Western countries or the rest of the countries or India, in Asia, uh, may hear this word and uh, receive the word of God for their blessings. Especially, I just bless the church of the USA, the church in the Australia, church in Asia, Africa, and Europe, and Antarctica, Australia, and uh, South America, North America. So please receive the word of God. Hallelujah. Jesus, uh, uh, as a part of uh, uh, the scripture today, the Lord has given to me from the book of uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse from 1 to 5, I uh, will read uh, them for you, okay? Do we begin again to commend ourselves a need we as some others. Epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you. E are our this take this. E are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men. A cat came to us uh, asking for chicken. And, and uh, that, that is not our cat, uh, but uh, the street cat. All the uh, cows, goats, and, and sometimes street draw dogs and cats they come to our house because of God's love they hear the word of God praise Jesus hallelujah so we reach out every creation with the gospel of Jesus Christ amen <clears throat> so e or our epistle written in our hearts known and read of all men for so much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ, ministered by us, written not with, with ink, but with the spirit of the living God, not in the tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. And such trust can we through Christ to God word. Not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think anything as of ourselves, but for but our sufficiency is, is of God. Sufficiency means he is the ability is of God. Hallelujah. Listen to these precious words of Apostle Paul. He compares 
our lives as epistle of God. Though he, he, he compares the lives of his church in Corinthians, the Corinthians. But it is a good meaning that comes uh, out of these uh, words uh, from this epistle or from this book of Corinthians. We are not just only symbolically epistles for God, of God, of Christ, but we should be used our lives, let our lives should be used like an epistle for God. We are epistle of Christ, but we are to be used like an epistle for God. This is a very important note. This is what we have to know. You know, we are not just an ordinary people. We are not the reporters. We are the epistles. We are the newsletters. We are the witness for the greater news of God. That's God. What's what have what apostles speak? So we speak what we have seen and what we have heard. That's the responsibility of an episode, the newsletter. Amen? So, he was talking about uh, so many things here, but I just wanted to tell you about the priorities or what the major uh, duties or responses or characters or attributes of an epistle of Christ. He speaks that you are our epistles because he is the spiritual father to the church of Corinth. And he did not write the letters on any stones, but he writes on the hearts of people with the living spirit of God, with the Holy Spirit. He did not write with any ink, but with the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit. See there, an epistle must be known by the people and must be read by the people. That's what verse 2 speaks. You, ye, ye are, he means you are our epistles, epistle written in our hearts, known and read. Known and read of all men. People in this world, they don't, they don't know, they don't study, they don't read, they don't read the Bible, they don't know God, they don't know Christ, they will not pay so much interest as often to come into the salvation about Jesus. But they look over you. They read, they read your life. They, they will come to know your life. If you truly stand as an epistle of Christ and as a respectable epistle of your spiritual father, mother, spiritual church, where you born in the church, People read you, people come to know you, and people see your life, how much you are accountable unto your salvation, <coughs> unto your God, unto your Lord, and unto your church activities, and to your spiritual fathers. Query. 
This is where so many people are failing in living a successful Christian life and their lives is just like not be an epistle, but in some other areas they are traveling in, not in the true way of God. People are not become saved because of you and me. People can be saved because of you and me. Because we are the epistle of Christ, we have to show Christ unto them. If, if any man know about us, if, if any man read about us, let he see Christ in our lives. That is what I mean here, because that's what Apostle Paul mean here. We are the epistle, or any an epistle of Christ. We need to be used for God as an epistle. Hallelujah. So I, I just wanted to mention about your four characteristics of an epistle. What is an epistle? An epistle is, is our Christian life on this earth. So an epistle must be little, must be smaller. Like an example, I will say, I will tell you. If you go to read the book of Genesis, it has 50 chapters. If you go to read the book of Isaiah, it has 66 books. And if you go to read the book of Psalm, it has 150 chapters or Psalms. In Genesis, the book of Genesis has 50 chapters, Isaiah has 66 chapters, and Psalms uh, has 150 Psalms. So they are big, big books like Ezekiel, like Jeremiah, like uh, uh, so many, first one Kings, two Kings, one Samuel, second Samuel. There are so many bigger books with so many chapters. But epistle is not like that. Most epistles of, pri uh, 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 of Apostle Paul are very smaller books. It is easy to be read, read. It is easy to read. Much interest to read. When we look after the the, the the letter or the episode, the book, are just, just like a track. You do not need to explain from Genesis to Revelation to, to tell about God, but you can express your word about your God. You can explain about your about, about the salvation Christ Jesus within an, a small letter or epistle. So this symbolically stands for a living a smaller life for Jesus on the earth for God. It has always sacrifices. Don't expect a very good luxurious life. Oh, it's not so good to live in a luxurious life. But what about all the millionaires? Why they did not keep their life today? By their millions of dollars, by their strength, they are losing the breath, the life in the ventilators today. They are fighting for the life to come out of from COVID-19. 
though they were millionaires. Living like a royal life with integrity, with loyalty, uh, 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 loyalty. Maintain the spiritual richness on the earth. Like think about what, how, how, how Moses lived, how, how Eliza lived. He lived in the desert. He lived in a widow's home. He lived in a cave. So many people are true witness for living little. For God. See there, I mean, um, uh, let's go into the book of Hebrews 11, verse from 33. Okay. Who through faith subdued kingdoms, <laughs> wrought righteousness, obtained promises, stopped the mouth of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword, out of weakness were made strong, out of weakness they are little, inside of comparison, comparing in sight of the other lives, the rich lives on the earth, like rich men lived with, with richness, but poor Lazarus lived with so many sufferings on the earth, but he subdued the kingdom. He has won the kingdom of heaven, God. And the rich man went into the hell, lake of fire. That's the simplicity. I mean, don't live with disease, don't with lackness, don't live with lackness, don't live in debts, don't live in uh, troubles, don't live in uh, depression. That's not a true real meaning of Christian life. That's not a true testimony. If you don't have peace, how you can be a witness unto God, unto Jesus. If you don't have any sufficiency, how you can say, that's what the sufficiency is come from God to these apostles to warn those people as epistles of themselves, as epistles of apostles, as epistles of the epistle, the, the epistle as like epistles of Christ. Through their ministry, they, they, the, the, the God has enabled them or gave them the sufficiency to make them an epistle of Christ. That's the ministry they have done. So live like this, see there, they, they were weak, but made strong, waxed, valiant in fight, turned to flight, the armies of the aliens, women received their dead, raised to life again, see there, and others were tortured, not accepting deliverance that they might obtain a better resurrection, and others, had trial of cruel mockings and uh, scourgings. Yea, more war of burns and imprisonment. They were stoned, they were shone asunder, were tempted, were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskins and goatskins, being destitute, afflicted, tormented, of whom the world was not worthy, they wandered in deserts and in mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all, and these all having obtained a good report through faith, they have gotten a good report through faith, receive not the promise. A very good faith life, a good, very good faith life always 
be like this. But when you come into the salvation, you want it to be so rich in, in the earth. Be rich in your faith. Be rich in your spiritual life. Be rich in your salvation. Be rich in and become smaller in all the worldly things. No, don't, don't, don't bother about that. Don't bother about that. See there, what Apostle Paul is speaking, he is not, uh, we begin again, commend ourselves or need we as some other services of commendation to you or letters of commendation from you. We don't like to talk about our boasting. We are not here to speak on ourselves. We are not here, uh, uh, here to talk on ourselves, on our ability, on our knowledge, on our strength, on our oh, richness or strength or on our caste and religion on our countries. We are here to speak on our Lord and Savior. That's what truly meaning of the epistle of Christ. Today, many people, so many people are talking on themselves, not on Christ. You are an epistle of Christ. Not of yourself. Stop selfishness. Stop boasting. Stop self-righteousness. Live for Jesus. That's what the smaller life that one to live. Epistle must be smaller. Must be interested to read. When some people look onto you, let they come with interest. That's why you are losing so many blessings. Because you are not allowing people to see what were you, what were your work, what were your ministry, what were your family. Hallelujah. Jesus. So that, the second attribute is episode always will be simple. It is to be understood. When we read episode, it's very easy for understanding the episodes. So, your life, your life must, your life on the earth for God must be understood. This includes Surrendering unto the Lord, yielding unto the Lord, obeying unto God's authority, accepting God's sovereignty over your life, submitting yourselves, admitting your difficulties, problems, or uh, uh, weaknesses, or, 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 your, or your sins, or whatever. Admit unto God. Thus, thus the simplicity. So many people uh, do try to cover themselves. They don't like to be shown themselves to the others. But an epistle must be shown to the others. An epistle must be shown to the others, must be read by others. That's what called the epistle. Hallelujah. That's what called truly the epistle. Hallelujah. If you don't surrender unto God, if you don't admit to your God, how then, how then you shall be known as an epistle of Christ unto others? Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. 
Hallelujah. So my friends, uh, what I am trying to tell you here is humble yourself, surrender unto the Lord, yield to God, accept his sovereignty, authority over your lives. Be a simple, live like a simple life, like a natural life. Though you have the supernatural attributes inside, Epizel is not a clumsy car, a clumsy uh, or letters. That they are very easy for understanding. These are the tools. Epizel also are the tools of the gospel. So we should be an epistle, we should be a tool for the gospel. Hmm? Mm -hmm. If you don't live a simple life, I have seen, uh, I have visited recently a pastor's family. He has uh, a very big church, a very big house. He has a daughter, he has a son. I have a beautiful wife. But he recently, a week ago, he was passed away with uh, COVID-19. I just uh, went to that family for visiting and comforting. Why he is not having that richness now? Why he is unable to live in that richness? Why he did try to expose his richness or what is the uh, opposite word I don't know for the simplicity. Super luxury life. Why? Why we should you need them? No, live a simple life on the earth. That's what the people know about you. What the, or that's what the people read about you. When you minister the word in, in the meetings or in uh, the church or in, uh, in crusades, in uh, 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 other spiritual activities then maintain your royalty. Don't wear always the suits or coats or boots or whatever. You know that you know that so many people why in India, so many people why they are not coming into the uh, uh, the church and into the salvation because of they saw that they thought that. We have more income from other countries. That's why we are uh, enjoying a lot. That's what they think. It's not bad to get partners and partnership from the others. But live like a simple life. Live a simple life. With more humility, with more so soberness, with more you loving, with more kindful, with more humbling, with more surrendering, with more submitting, with more admitting, with more yielding. That's why the real standard of the simplicity. Like the scribe prayed in the church, I give thai, I give, I fast, I come to the church, I come to synagogues, I pray. I'm not like this 
मैं मैन प्रेड इन रिच मैन प्रेड इन चिन को God did not accept his prayer. But this poor man prayed, I am unworthy to be to raised to to be raised my face unto you Allah forgive me for forgive me for my sins. That's yielding, submitting, confessing, accepting the the authority of God over him. that's obeying that's the life that we have to live on the earth amen amen that's the simple life that's the simplicity that we have to maintain in our christian life then we can be a, a true epistle of christ on the earth jesus number 3 let this do uh, let this let this epistle be powerful though it is simple though it is little on the earth like just a, an atom bomb gospel is the power of god to save the sinners any sinner so those who believes the gospel it is the power of god unto them so in the in the epistle we write the gospel of christ jesus about christ jesus so a epistle must express the power must be an impact to the nations must be powerful if somebody reads they must get repentance out of their sins if 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 somebody reads in the church they must be strengthened and empowered i i just i want to tell the last point okay it must bring a change in the atmosphere in the in the situations in the conditions hallelujah so it must be powerful it must be powerful though it was simple though it was little smaller book just like with the or with one page or two pages or and three pages or four pages five pages let this be powerful if it not if it did not deliver if it did not express the power of god release the power of god then there is uh, nothing mean in in an epistle there are so many epistles and media social media media channels electronic media printed media today available that speaks on politics the speaks on governments the speaks on uh, diseases the speak the speaks on uh, on fear death there is nothing used from all of these social medias and printed in electronic medias but the but the epistle of christ speaks about the life in christ jesus and the power of god for salvation that's why everything become new that those who are in christ jesus that's why what he has said now there is no condemnation in christ jesus, those who were in christ jesus that's the, that's the news that we have to deliver that's the message an epistle must give hallelujah hallelujah jesus
I got a message from uh, Brother Ratan that we have been praying for Sister Sirisa, and now she is responding, her body is responding for uh, some treatment of uh, the government. And uh, he asked uh, us to continue to pray for her because the doctors have said that um, Sister Sirisa has to go for dialysis. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. I just uh, uh, sent a letter to him. Okay, just uh, just just hold on. Okay. Hello, brother Rath and I am in uh, live broadcasting for preaching the uh, for teaching the word of God to the rest of the countries right now, and I agree with you. And for the life uh, unto Sister Sirisha in Christ Jesus, our God is uh, a God of miracles. Just trust, believe Him, believe Him, and speak continuously life unto Sirisha. Agree with us and praise Jesus for giving her life, for raising her from the dead. Hallelujah. So there is. Mm, the, the death has no ruling power over her, but Christ has the ruling power, and the life is given to her in Christ Jesus already. God bless you, my friends. I will be in touch with you after broadcasting. Love you. Bye-bye. Take care. Be encouraged. So, <clears throat> sorry for that. I received messages and I respond to the message that I, I don't have any office uh, assistance here to help with responding messages. <laughs> Hallelujah. So let this episode must be powerful. <clears throat> and the last word that I just wanted to give you is let the epistle must be always encouraging. Let the epistle impact you, your life, your nation, your country. That's why so many people organize summits and seminars and uh, conferences to impact the nations. If you are truly an epistle of Christ, you surely impact the nations. God shall give you the sufficiency or the ability for that. Surely he shall give. That is why when, when Apostle Paul concludes his epistles, he concludes with the uh, and caressing the church or the people by the grace and by the peace of Christ Jesus. He speaks, let the grace of our dear Lord Jesus Christ and the peace of our Lord shall be with you. He concludes every episode. Read all his 13 episodes, books. He concludes in each and every, in each and every, Every epistle. See the grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. sincerity. Amen. That he ends uh, in the book of Ephesians. In Philippians, uh, he ends. Uh, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And Colossians, uh, he ends uh, this, uh, okay, fourth chapter, okay. Uh, the salutation by the hand of me, Paul. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. 1 Thessalonians. Ah, hallelujah. The grace of our Lord. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. 2 Thessalonians. Or two, uh, 2 Thessalonians. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. The peace, the grace speaks about on Timothy. Grace be with you. Amen. 2 Timothy. Hallelujah. Grace with the Lord Jesus be with, be with my spirit, with thy spirit, grace be with you. Titus, grace be with you. 
Oh, see there. Oh, these episodes. Okay. They ends with an encouragement word of Christ's grace and peace be with you. Hallelujah. 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 Brother, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with your spirit. Amen. He, he, he ends the epistle of Galatians. Uh -huh. And uh, the Romans, what, what are the Romans? To God be. Okay. And he, he, he concludes all the epistles uh, with, with, the, uh, with the grace and peace of Christ Jesus. That's an encouragement to them. Speak grace because uh, because we need God's grace. We cannot do anything unless the grace adds, the grace of Jesus adds unto us. So an epistle must be produced, must be encouraged by the grace by the peace of this. It, it must produce the grace of Jesus. It must produce the peace of Jesus. That those who read us, the, the those who know us are the epistles. And you are writing because you are not writing with a ink. You are writing with the Spirit of God, the Holy Ghost. Uh, you are not writing on the stones, but on the hearts, fleshy hearts of the lives of people. Those people who comes to read your epistles must know you, must read you. And let this epistle be an epistle of Christ, of God. Let God be revealed, let God be known, let let God's power be known and to them that those who come to know and read about the epistle. You and me are now the epistle of Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So be simple, be little, be powerful, be an encouragement. Encouragement. That's the four attributes of an episode. So when people come to know you, read you, yes, this man is very, a very become like a little man on this earth. Become a simple man on this earth. Become a powerful man on this earth. Become an encouragement and to all of us. Christ is in him. Christ is in him. We don't know. People don't search God in, in any others, in any, in, in any other places. They will search in you. That's why they read you. They know you. Live like, a, live like an epistle of Christ on this earth. May God bless you, my friends. Amen. Hallelujah. So, hope you got this message. It's just for your encouragement, for your empowerment. It's a Sunday service, and we don't ask people offerings on each and other days or but if you would like to honor the word of God, you're free to give to God's word and for the work of the ministry of the kingdom of God in India. Just let us know about your interest or uh, to give unto God. Just send me a message in the inbox or give you a comment so that we can help you with the details. May God bless you, my friends. 
the Father in the heaven. Graces, Father, Holy Father, bless all the people, that those who have heard this word on the Sunday morning, bless their lives, families, help them to live it like an epistle of Christ. We we'll give you all glory and honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So before I conclude, I just wanted to make a couple of requests, prayer requests, so that you can stand with us in an agreement. Um, number one, we are praying for a, a building project. We just wanted to have our uh, church building and house building as well. Uh, so please pray for that. And secondly, we just wanted to help uh, either in any way in, in, in to cover the, uh, the cost of uh, pastors' families of, of COVID treatment or helping them with food or, or covering their bills or, or helping them either financially or, or, or morally or materially. We just wanted to rescue uh, a thousand pastors' families in India because they got COVID, uh, so many of them got COVID. And there are so many are in uh, on the hospitals, the treatments on the ventilators. And so some of them were dead, uh, either pastor's wife or pastor dead, some, some other families, both were dead. Uh, so it, it bothers me a lot and we want to help them as much as we can. Please stand with us, pray for these projects and uh, consider to get involved with us for helping these people. Thank you so very much. And also pray for Sister Sirisa. She got uh, some uh, breath. Uh, doctor mm -hmm. wants to take her into uh, the dialysis for her kidneys, for her kidneys. So um, please uh, stand in an agreement for a mighty miracle for the life manifestation in her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you so very much. God bless you, my friends. Bye-bye. Take care. Love. Jesus.